So it looks like we had our first bit of actual confirmation when it comes to the Unreal Engine switch for the Halo franchise. In a 343 employee's LinkedIn profile, they actually mentioned saying participated in Unreal Tech implementation strategy. Meaning, how are we going to go about switching over to the Unreal Engine with the Halo franchise? This is the first bit of actual news that we've seen from any form of 343 talking about the Unreal Engine ever since this report from Jason Schreier talking about how the original layoffs about how many people were laid off by Microsoft and how the campaign team was really hit by these layoffs at 343. Since this leak has been out, the person's profile has been updated to not mention anything about the Unreal Engine or anything like that. Thanks to today's sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM are a team of artists and creators who share a common vision. They see clothing as a canvas to express what drives you. Since 2012, they developed premium apparel that elevates self-expression and provides unparalleled comfort for wherever your passions take you. Into the AM recently sent me some apparel to check out and honestly guys, I'm really enjoying this stuff. I like the art style they put on the shirts and I also got some cool joggers that go with it that fit me really well. If you're not into all the crazy styles, don't worry, they have some simple tees for you as well. They fit great, they feel great, and I genuinely do enjoy their products. If you use my code KevinCollects, you receive an additional 10% off of your purchase. Plus, I get a little kickback and help support the channel as well. Into the AM has been a long time sponsoring the channel, and I genuinely do enjoy their products a lot. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you much Into the AM for sponsoring the video. So let's get right back into those details. Now we've talked about this previously on the channel about the switch to the Unreal Engine. Since a large portion of 343's campaign team was laid off, we don't really see any campaign created by 343 anytime soon. We do know that 343 will continue to tell stories about Halo moving forward, so there will be some form of campaign from this tweet right here when the rumors started going around talking about how 343 might be more of a management kind of team in a way, not directly developing Halo, saying that 343 Industries will continue to develop Halo now and in the future, including epic stories, multiplayer, and more of what makes Halo great. But when you lay off your campaign team, it's pretty tough to tell new stories. Right now, we do have the narrative events going on with Halo Infinite, which should start on the second with Sight Unseen, which we've covered previously on the channel here. But I know what we really want is some campaign experience. What's the next step with Master Chief, the weapon, and so much more? Well, some of the leaks and rumors going around saying that 343 become much more of a management team of the Halo franchise rather than a direct developer. So what I could expect to see happen is that they might contract out another company to create a Halo campaign with the oversight from 343. So they're still involved with the development in some capacity of making new campaign stories for a Halo franchise, but not exactly hands-on with like the actual coding experience of creating the campaign. For example, we do know with Halo 2 Anniversary, Saber Interactive were the ones that really developed the remastering of the Halo 2 campaign, redoing all the audio and all the visuals when it came to that. So 343 didn't actually really do much when it comes to like hands-on development of Halo 2 Anniversary, but you know that they gave Saber Interactive some guidance of how to actually do the whole thing. While Certain Affinity was the group involved with creating a lot of the multiplayer content for Halo 2 Anniversary. And I could see 343 in the future implementing some kind of style like that where maybe some other studios create the stuff but with 343's oversight and utilizing the Unreal Engine which is the most common denominator when it comes to game development. If you make a Halo campaign Unreal, you probably want to have it talk along with the multiplayer side of things being created on Unreal as well. You've heard some recent rumors saying that Tatanka is switching over to the Unreal Engine as well but again we'll have to wait and see until we get some actual more information about that. Talking about Halo narratives, we do have the Sight Unseen event coming around here for Halo Infinite. If you guys want to know more about that, especially the customization that's coming with the 10 tier battle pass, it's going to be very for us to jump around and play. Check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.